I need to speak with you, my child. Yes, Petrus. What is it? I've come up with a plan to put what we've learned about the Mother Cardinal to use. Do tell. You will have to take part in a fight in the arena, and we must make sure that the odds are high. To do this, you'll have to face a champion. This will lure her in. That would effectively raise the odds. But the risk is they'll bet against me. That may be the case. But the highest bets are based on the exact time of the defeat. I see. We are going to make the Mother Cardinal believe that I will lose at a specific time. And by doing so, you'll win something bigger than a fight. This will make her lose a considerable amount. Exactly. I've even taken measures to make sure her usual money lender is unavailable. Without knowing it, she will come to me looking for gold in order to place her bet. And she will be at our mercy. Is this how you settle scores in Teleme? This is how all scores are settled, my child. Or on the battlefield. But that's much dirtier. So, what do you say? It's a complicated plan, but an effective one. Let's put it in motion. Let's go back to the St. Matthias bookmaker. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I want to challenge the champion of the arena. A champion? Really? Now, you were asking about Candy Cane. It wouldn't be him that sent you here by any chance. No. No one has sent me. I'm looking to make a reputation for myself. Ah. That sounds better. It's true, you have talent, and the public does like you. Let me think. There is Briscard, one of our old champions. It's been a while since he fought, but he did ask me to set something up for him. He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is known. And he's a killer, I'm warning you. This Briscard sounds like the perfect opponent. A deal! I'll work on getting things ready for the combat and line up the betting. Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a duel. Your friends will need to stay in their seats. As soon as you're ready, you'll just need to go and see the Arena Master. We should go and see Candy Cane, so he can set up our deal. So when you win, a bet.
you again. What do you want this time? I have a very lucrative proposal for you. You know that I have to fight against a champion. Everyone knows. You are expected to lose in one minute. I'm well aware of that. I know that my opponent is too strong for me. But let's suppose my opponent draws the fight out of it. For the beauty of the battle, of course. I'm starting to see what you're alluding to. This fight don't interest me. The odds against you are so high, I wouldn't get much out of it. But if we make all the gamblers lose, by letting you hang in there a little longer... We could win a nice little nest egg. Organizing this will entail some costs for me. It's better to add a bonus. Without the bonus, there's no deal. If you pay me in advance, you won't be tempted to play any tricks. So, get your wallet out. If this seals our deal, it's worth it. Here, take it. Excellent. Don't you worry now. Everything will be fixed for the fight. I think that one of my special clients will also be interested in our little arrangement. Be careful not to tell too many people, so that the odds don't drop too low. Ready to excite the crowd. Ah, there you are. I was told you'd be taking on one of our old champions. Are you ready for the fight? Beware. Contrary to the challenges, this combat must be fought alone. Your friends must remain in the stands. Yes, I am ready. So, jump into the arena, and may the better fighter win. Brilliant spectacle. Congratulations on your victory. <sighs> Thank you. It wasn't easy. And here are your winnings from the combat. <laughs> You've earned them. Bravo! A glorious victory, which is made all the sweeter by double compensation. <sighs> I don't believe I've ever seen you happier. The thought of holding something over Cornelia seems to do you wonders. <sighs> that is true. Politics is an extremely subtle game, and just as satisfying as fighting in an arena. I imagine we need to go and see her now. Yes, and I hope you will enjoy the moment every bit as much as I will.
Lady de Sade. And you, Petrus. What can I do for you? We have come to offer our support. We have learned that the arena was cruel to you. How do you know that? Oh, I see. You tricked my informer. We just let him believe that I would lose. All I did was take the place of your moneylender. You owe me a handsome sum. All of this just to make me spill the beans, am I right? I didn't expect you to play this kind of game, Your Excellency. It is true, though, that with such a teacher... Oh, come on, Cornelia. You excel at this game. It's true. And I also know when to admit defeat. What do you want from me? We won't use what we know of you, nor what you owe us. So long as you act loyally towards the Congregation and Constantine. Is that clear? Is that what you're expecting? Ah, uh, but I'm sure that this sly old fox has something else in mind, right? You hope that I'll support you when you court the rank of Cardinal? You haven't learnt your lesson, then. Have you forgotten the abyss into which you plunged because of your ambition last time? Petrus, what's she talking about? Cornelia, you don't have the right to use that against me to disclose what I revealed to you that day. It was said under the seal of the Enlightened. It's true. But if someone deserves to know, it's her. No, please. Since you have no intention of speaking, I will. Petrus knew your mother, child. Your real mother. My... My mother? Petrus, is it true? How? Be damned, Cornelia. It's true. I knew your mother. I used to go to the jail to give my spiritual support to the prisoners of the Prince d'Orsay. That's where I met her. She was alone, afraid, and exhausted. And so strange. Obviously, I had no way of knowing that she came from here. The princes kept their secret well. Why didn't you tell me about it? You know that my uncle lied to me, and you kept quiet. I... I was ashamed. Ashamed of having left her to die in that dead-end pit. Completely alone. <laughs> Why talk to others about it, then? Why does she know? One evening, in a fit of despair, Petrus felt the need to share this great burden with someone. At the time, you were the ear of the enlightened, Cornelia. You have broken your vows. Ah, oh, damnation! It's better out in the open. I've wanted to tell you about it since I met you. Now that you know, I want to do something in her memory. I will help you find your family here on the island. The Prince sent you here to use you. But I can ensure that all of this serves a purpose. How could I possibly believe you now? You have used me for your scheming and have kept me in the dark. I understand how you feel, my child. Let's wait a little until you've taken it all in. Time heals the wounds of the soul. Come back and see me when you are ready. As for you, Cornelia, remember what we have on you. You no longer have the upper hand. Be careful, de Sade. You now see the real Petrus, sly and opportunistic. My dear child, what can I do for you? I will see you later. Take care.
Green blood, my friend. Glad to see you. I'd like to talk to you about something. I'm listening. Remember that note we found in Rolf's office? Of course. The one that said the recruits had been sent to different governors. Yes. It was signed with a name I'm familiar with. Herman. Somebody I'd hope never to cross paths with again. He was the one who founded the camp we closed. And believe me, he has done an incredible amount of damage to the guard. I'm gonna find him and make him pay for what he's done. I know that he's in San Mateus. This quest for revenge isn't only about what happened to Reyna and the others, is it? Very well. You can count on me. What do you plan to do? Major Herman is posted in San Mateus. He's part of the Red Sun Regiment now. He's loyal to Torsten, but kept his head down when the coup was dismantled. Isn't denouncing him enough? He'll be put to death for high treason. The Guard's reputation has suffered enough from Torsten's scheming. And he has connections in high places. I'm sure he has many supporters. What are you getting at? Are you going to kill him yourself? If he's well connected, the Mother Cardinal will surely hear about it. And I doubt she'd be pleased. I know. That's the whole problem. We need to get rid of him without anyone finding out. If Petrus were here, he would probably tell us to do the exact opposite. That old fox is as sly as ever. But I don't see what you're getting at. There's a group in San Mateus that can make someone disappear in broad daylight without anyone saying anything about it. Those mad inquisitors. Exactly. It might not be easy to convince our good friend Aloysius, but it's worth the try. You're right. And if we bring Petrus, he will surely help us sway the Inquisitor. I must say, this is a horrid solution. But if anyone deserves it, it's that bastard Herman. We'll need to find him, though. And he's been keeping a low profile since the coup failed. And we've already seen to what extent the law of silence has on the guard. We need help. Our new commander might be able to tell us who to turn to. She knows everybody. All right, then. Agreed. Let's start by going to see her. Ah, Your Excellency, I'm glad to see you. It seems there has been an unexpected development. The manager of the tavern came to find me. He complained of supply problems on the island, and a customs sergeant who is seizing his shipments from the continent. Clearly, neither we nor the palace gave any such orders. You suspect that these seizures are being used to supply the contraband? It's the only logical answer. And you wonder if Egon is involved? Very well. I will find out. No, thank you.
Hello, Commander. Lady Desade. And Kurt. I believe I should be thanking you for my nomination. It is your upright and honorable nature that won you this post. Not I. Perhaps sometime in the future you'll curse me for having suggested your name. I hope not. How can I be of service to you? We are here to talk to you about a document we found in the training camp. A letter. Signed by Major Herman. He's behind all of this, Sieglinder. Herman. Kurt, this is personal now. When will this story be finished? I could court marshal him, but you know how much certain people support him. I know. He'd probably get away with it. Everyone loves the heroic Major. No. We thought of another way. The Ordo Luminous. You... you want to have them burned as heretics? If he'd been caught as Torsten's accomplice, he would have been drawn and quartered. Do you think that's any less painful? I don't know if you came to look for my help or my blessing. <sighs> you have both. But promise me that you'll stop seeking vengeance after this. You have my word. We just need your help to find Herman. He's been hiding since the failed coup. And you need help in the San Mateus barracks. Talk to the corporal in charge of the prisons. I know him well. He's loyal. He's from the old school. If he can help you, he will. It seems to me that the Ordo Luminous keeps its prisoners in the prisons of the Guard. In fact, if you want to avoid drawing too much attention to yourself, you could bring Herman there directly. I'll write you a letter for the Corporal. Here you go. Thank you for doing this for me, Sieglinda. You're welcome. And don't forget your promise, Kurt. Feast for the eye. Yes, what can I do for you? Sir, Commander Zieglinder wrote this letter to you. Hmm... I wasn't expecting that. Even though I never really liked the Major, the Commander is asking me to do all I can to assist you in your mission. So, what can I do for you? We are looking for the Major. We know that he was posted here. Yes, and officially he still is. But I haven't seen him for some time. Following the coup, he was probably expecting us to go after him. The only people he may have told about his hiding place are his lieutenants. Those two are his henchmen. I see. Well, we'll just have to go and interrogate them. If we bring him to you, can you make sure he ends up in an Ordo Luminous jail? Do you want to condemn him to the stake? That's a bit extreme. Listen, I can lock him up. But you'll have to find a way to keep my men from seeing him. Why is that? All the guards in the city know the Major. If they see him brought here, they'll want to know why. And they will surely take it out on the Inquisition, which could end badly. You're not wrong, Corporal. What do you suggest? If you bring me some sleeping potions, I could put the whole lot of them to sleep. When they wake up, 
They'll be ashamed of having slept through their watch. But that's better than spilling blood. So you need sleeping potions. Is that right? Yes, to put my men to sleep. That would seem the best way of doing it. Perfect. And then? When you have your man, let me know, and I'll do the rest. Anything else? We should go. Goodbye. What do you want now? We've come to discuss something that concerns you. Really? I'm listening. We would like to draw your attention to a man who has confessed to terrible crimes. Has he professed heresy? Venerated one of the demonic creatures worshipped by the savages? Not exactly. He's responsible for many deaths and was one of Torsten's supporters. Who, as you know, was planning to overthrow your governor and take her place. These truly are crimes. But they have nothing to do with the Ordo Luminous. You should denounce this man to our governor. I'm sure she'll be happy to have him drawn and quartered. You should leave me now. Your lack of faith has already been proven in the past. I don't know why you even came to see me. Come now, Aloysius. Are you going to let this regrettable incident obscure your judgment? Incident? You call the obvious lack of faith of your protege and her behavior an incident? A momentary error, nothing else. Which she largely made up for by denouncing the commander's plot. To think that without her, San Mateus would be in the hands of faithless, lawless mercenaries. ...and that we would no longer have any chance of guiding this island towards the light. You always know how to shine the best light on the situation, don't you? I came to see you in particular, because I know how much you value justice. I know that political machinations have no hold over you. This man nearly plunged your entire city into chaos. Yet he got away with it with impunity. Only you can make sure he receives the punishment he deserves. It would seem that despite your past mistakes, you are sometimes rather prescient. A traitor of this kind shouldn't be able to get away with it. And I wouldn't let myself be corrupted. I can't have your man publicly arrested without raising too many questions. But... If you arrange for him to come to one of our jails discreetly, I'll make sure justice is delivered. The felon will receive the punishment he deserves on behalf of the Glorious Enlightened. May he always keep you in his divine blessing, Aloysius. You will soon find this man in your jail. Anything else? Nothing. It's all right. Remember that the Enlightened is always watching you. Now that everything is ready, we should go find these lieutenants. 